this week's Parsha, Parsha's Vayera, a portion in the section of Bereshus and the section of Genesis, we pick up right where we left off last week with the circumcision of Avram at the old age of 99. And we're now three days post-circumcision, three days post-surgery. And Avram is visited by three angels who are dressed as travelers, who tell him that in a year time, him and Sarah, who have been childless all these years, would be blessed with a son. Much emphasis is placed on Sarah and Avram's response to the getting of this news. But as the angels leave, Avram and Sarah understand that in a year time, they are going to be blessed with a son. The angels then begin to head to Sodom, where God had instructed Stone, which you might remember from last week, is the city that Lot, Avram's nephew, went to after Avram and Lot parted ways, which was, was a city that was known for its evil and wicked ways. And God had decided to destroy the city of Sodom. But first, he tells Avram that he's planning on destroying it. And Avram begins to beseech God to spare and save Sodom. Perhaps there are righteous people in whose merit uh, Sodom can be saved. But ultimately, God tells him that no such righteous people exist in the city of Sodom. The angels first go into Sodom to save Lot and his family. There's a fascinating story about how the angels were not welcomed uh, by the people of Sodom. But in the end, the angels do save Lot and his two daughters. Lot's wife had turned around on the journey out after being told not to, and she turns into a pillar of salt. And Lot's sons-in-law did not take the warning seriously, and they did not; they were not taken out by the angels. This parsha then continues with the story of Avram and Sarah moving from where they were in Elohim Mamre, the plains of Mamre, to the city of Gerar, ruled by, Avimel, ruled by a man named Avimelech, who kidnapped Sarah after being told that Sarah was Avram's sister, not wife. But after God sends an illness and comes to Avimelech in a dream, Avimelech returns to Sarah. We then are told about the birth, the ultimate birth of Yitzchak, Isaac, one year to the day as a child to Avram and Sarah. Yitzhak has his circumcision, but then, although Yitzhak was the only child of Avram and Sarah together, we know that Avram already had a child with Hagar, Sarah's maidservant, by the, by the name of Yishmael. And Yishmael at the time begins to be a terrible, terrible influence on Yitzhak, and Sarah begs Avram, who ultimately acquiesces, to kick Yishmael out of his house after God uh, agrees with Sarah uh, because of the negative influence that he was having on, uh, on, on Yitzhak. Uh, there is a story about Yishmael's journey leaving Avram's house where he uh, is at near death, but ultimately an angel comes and tells Hagar that he will survive this and not to despair, and he will, uh, in fact, grow up to lead a, a giant people in a giant nation. The Parsha then concludes with one of the most famous stories in all of the Torah, which is Akedas Yitzchak, the binding of Isaac, where after finally being blessed with a child, God comes to Avram and tells him, it's time, you need to slaughter and offer as a carbon, as a sacrifice, your beloved son Yitzhak, where Avram is put in the ultimate test of faith versus love and kindness that came naturally to Avram. Ultimately, Avram brings Yitzhak to be offered as a carbon, as a sacrifice, but at the last moment, an angel comes down and tells Avram to stop, not to actually sacrifice and kill Yitzhak, that he had passed this test of faith. Um, and in, instead, Avram sees a ram in the distance and he offers a ram. Uh, in the stead of Yitzchak, thus concluding the Akedas Yitzchak, the binding of Isaac, and this week's Parsha.